Hello and welcome to the first episode of your main movie report in 2014 and I hope you guys and girls have had a great new year. And for my first review of this year I'm of course going to talk about Paranormal Activity 4.5 also known as Paranormal Activity the marked ones. And um, this Paranormal Activity is supposedly a spin-off of uh, the original universe, Katie Christie, and in other ways it isn't because later in the film we are reintroduced to some of the old characters. And um, this movie takes place in Los Angeles, and if I remember correctly, Paranormal Activity 4 also took place in Los Angeles, and um, we have these um, three Latin American uh, friends uh, Hector, Jesse and Marisol. They have recently graduated from high school and um, I guess it's supposedly the summer recess. And they live in this uh, apartment block and on the first floor there lives this uh, strange woman, Anna, and uh, the other residents in the apartment block, they refer to her as a witch. And um, Strange things start to occur and the two uh, friends, they uh, use this uh, GoPro camera to uh, put down in this uh, air vent and they discover that um, Anna is doing some sort of uh, freaky ritual to this um, woman and uh, she's painting this um, the symbol from uh, the original Paranormal Activity uh, movies on the belly of this woman and this woman is naked and so is Anna. And um, after which something strange starts to happen and one of their friends, Oscar, he um, is seen lurking around in the neighborhood and he uh, starts to act weird and this um, Anna, she suddenly dies and um, then the two friends, Hector and Jesse, they are caught in the middle of this paranormal activity. And... Um, of course, this movie wouldn't be complete without our old friend, Fat Katie. And there's this scene where um, the two friends, they discover that in um, the late witch's uh, apartment, there's this uh, basement flap, and they go down there, and then we see Fat Katie standing um, in um, the doorway, and when Jesse, he attempts to uh, get out, uh, when he can't get up, and of course it's because Fat Katie is standing on the uh, on the door. And <laughs> anyway, but um, then things starts to unravel, and um, then they ha have chosen to go down this totally ridiculous path of time travel because they find out that um, it, using black magic, the the witches from Paranormal Activity Four uh, supposedly can travel in time and. Something completely stupid happens uh, at uh, the end of uh, the film. And, um, yeah. Is it a good film? Mm, yeah, it, it, in some ways it is. And uh, especially the, the last five minutes where we have these two, um, uh, two uh, gangsters going completely uh, boys in the hood uh, on uh, some of these um, evil witches. Uh, in order to uh, to attempt to um, liberate Jesse, and um, besides from that, this movie, unlike the first Paranormal Activity, this movie isn't scary. I walked uh, from the, the theater, um, movie theater, down a dark street, and uh, I walked down a dark alley and to uh, my front door, and um, without. Thinking about thinking about uh, that, I had just watched supposedly a horror flick, and maybe it's me who's uh, getting rough with, with with age. But this movie sucked in my, in my opinion. So, um, if I'm gonna rate this film, I would say the acting is fairly okay. The effects there weren't any of these uh, jump. Uh, yeah, yeah, there were some of uh, some uh, jump scares, but. There weren't any real jump scares in this uh, film, in my opinion. So, um, but 
if I'm gonna rate this film film in general, uh, as I said, uh, the, uh, the the acting, the effects, the effects were somewhat okay, especially the creature effects at the end of the film. They were somewhat okay. So if I'm gonna rate it, I would say um, two out of five Coca Cola bottles. And since this is a paranormal activity review. A paranormal activity review by me, uh, you remain Moo Report, isn't complete without a Katie fat joke. So uh, here we go. You know why uh, Katie is so fat? Do you? Do you? It's because the demons use her as a bank. And uh, with that out of the way, next week, let's say I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. See you then. Bye for now.